Hi everyone, uh, my name is Lu Chen, a PhD candidate from uh, Delft University of Technology. I'm glad to have this opportunity to uh, communicate with you. And I will give a presentation about numerical analysis of Riefling connection uh, with defined surface area. Uh, the contents include four parts after a brief introduction. A detailed description and discussion about the numerical analysis of Riefling connection will be given. Uh, generally, there is a constantly growing need for better exploitation of the available wind potential, uh, which leads to the demand uh, on wind turbine structures. Wind flange connections are mostly used to connect uh, tubular sections, such as parts of the substructure of a wind energy turbine. And nowadays, the dimensions of modern wind turbines are growing, as well as the loads acting on them in order to take better advantage of the available wind potential. Uh, therefore, these connections are required to bear uh, increasingly high static dynamic loads. Uh, due to the dynamic nature of wind loads, which are the prevailing loads on wind turbines, fatigue of connections between adjacent tower parts is one of the most common types of structural failure. And an example of the accident risk of the wind tower is shown in this picture. It is quite necessary to gain a, a better understanding about ring flange connections comprehensively uh, in these uh, aspects. Uh, the behavior of ring flange connection is influenced by various factors, and one of the least investigated characteristics is the error in contact. So, focus of this presentation is on the behavior of ring flange connection with defined contacts. And this design was uh, firstly investigated at 1999, and in contrast to four connecting flanges, this kind of connection is cut out with a discontinuous contact surface, as shown in this figure. Uh, at present, this connection has really been uh, studied further and implemented in uh, construction. The purpose of the present paper is to determine how tensile behavior uh, is affected by this design. Uh, accurate understanding of behavior of individual flange segment uh, is crucial for a design of wind turbine towers. A preliminary study of advanced numerical model is presented on two types of ring flange segment connection uh, with and without defined contact by Abacus. And the tube tower is subdivided into 36 uh, ring flange segments with high strength spots. And this figure describes the uh, schematic of created FE model of these two types of connections. Uh, in parallel, the influence of both types is also investigated here, uh, including partially traded bolt and fully traded bolt. Uh, material and geometry nonlinearity uh, are considered in FE analysis. The bolt and nut are modeled with a real child geometry and the flange and the shear uh, are specified as S275 and S355, respectively. Bolts and nuts are set to the nominal value of uh, stress uh, at the yield point of uh, 900 MPa and the optimal strength of 1000 MPa. Uh, specifically, 4 range 2 stress strain curves for the bolt is calibrated, and based on the ultimate and uh, yield strength and the respective strengths, a parabolic shape of the nominal strain strain curve uh, is assumed to facilitate the definition of the pre-necking uh, plastic strain stress relationship and the post-necking two stress strain diagram uh, for high strain steels can be approximately described using the uh, combined linear and power stress strain law. According to the recent investigation on both under tensile loading, uh, it indicates that the post necking two stress strain diagram for both uh, can be described as a power uh, strain stress with a weighting factor of zero. And this figure shows a uh, four range uh, two stress strain curve for the bolt. And the post necking two stress uh, have a slightly uh, growing trend um, as the increase of plastic strain. Uh, for fracture criterion, it is assumed that the damage initiation. Uh, is similarly governed by plastic strains and hydrostatic stresses at the uh, at the fracture initiation in the uh, volt growth model as expressed in uh, in this equation. And after determining the material property of each part, uh, the mechanical boundary conditions specified for the ring flange segment are shown in the le uh, left picture. Uh, two steps, including preloading of the bolts and the impulse tensile load to the uh, failure, are analyzed. Preloading of the bolts is applied by Turner Nart method, and based on the usual code, the pretension force uh, is taken as around 1082 kN for M48 bolt. And in this table, uh, RFPT uh, means the ring flange connection with partially traded bolt, 
and the uh, RFD PT uh, means the uh, ring flange connections. We define the context and the fully traded bolt, uh, a partially traded bolt. As for the RFD FT, uh, it means the ring flange connection. We define the context and with a fully traded bolt. And after the calibration of the rotation of the nut, a counterplot of the nominal stress uh, in the z direction in the bolt and the flange are shown here. Uh, for the final stage of preloading under different configuration, after that a displacement along the z-direction uh, is applied to the reference point RP1 at the top of the segment. The calculation is uh, finished until final failure and the relationship between the impulse load and the displacement uh, in the direction of the reference point uh, is shown in the uh, left figure. And combined with the enlarged figure, it is shown that the contact area uh, has no influence on the uh, final failure mode under the same bolt tab. However, the bolt tab has a considerable influence on the general trend of the low displacement curve uh, and a larger uh, maximum bolt force and load is observed for the cases with uh, partially traded bolts. Uh, while the uh, connections with fully traded bolts experience a significantly larger deformation uh, capacity uh, than the connection with partially traded bolts. So in order to better interpret the influence of different bolt types, the counterplot of the S33 stress in the flange and uh, uh, bolt uh, of RFPT and RFFT is presented as three characteristic displacement levels. Uh, from the counterplot, it is found that the uh, uh, necking of the uh, PT bolts take place within the uh, relatively uh, narrow treaded area and different from the available uh, longer treaded lengths of FT bolts, the untreaded shank uh, restricts the deformation of the necking band, uh, which causes the additional increase uh, in force of PT connections. And additionally, due to the smaller cross-sectional area at the treaded lengths compared with the untreaded uh, area, uh, all the plastic deformation occurred within the treaded part, and therefore the uh, FT bolts uh, had a significantly longer treaded length over which uh, plastic deformation occurred. So except the failure modes, the tensile stiffness is quite uh, important as the stiffness of the connection joint has a uh, significant influence on the fatigue endurance and integrity of the entire uh, structure. As shown in the low displacement curve, uh, initial stiffness is only influenced by the uh, contact air, uh, surface uh, area and according to the stress redistribution uh, of the contact pressure of RFPT and uh, RFDPT cases, it can be concluded that the nonlinear behavior uh, of uh, RF connection appears because the impulse load on the connection is resisted through the uh, redistribution of the contact forces and on the contrary, the um, Increment of the bolt force of RFD PT connection can be neglected before reaching the uh, critical point, and where the applied force is transferred well to uh, define the contact surface instead of a, a continuous surface. Now, when looking at the contact force at to define the contact area of the uh, RFD PT uh, connection, it is found that the bolt force as well as the contact force RB are almost unchanged. Uh, until the contact force RA uh, is degraded completely, and after that, the bolt force increases steadily uh, from the curve of uh, uh, opening of the gap between flanges in the function of the impulse load. The ring flange connection with defined surface area behaves uh, stiffer than ring flange connection with continuous contacts. So, so therefore, the investigation of the design of uh, ring flange connections with defined surface area uh, has potential for improvement for the uh, fatigue resistance of connections. Um, finally, the load bearing capacity can simply be calculated with uh, plastic hinge theory considering three failure modes and based on the IP results of counterplot of ultimate, uh, at ultimate load state, the failure of these two connections result from the uh, plastic hinge and the failure of the both corresponding to failure mode B and therefore mode B uh, is the uh, uh, correct governing failure mode and uh, comparing the calculated results with and uh, without the designed uh, factor 0.9, it is more conservative to consider the design factor for a uh, ring connection with partially traded bolts uh, than connection with fully traded bolts. 
and the both false of IP results are compared to two widely accepted methods for determination of the both false uh, with regards to the applied segment load. And this model are proposed based on the research of infinite connections without uh, defined surface area and a simplified model for infinite connections with defined uh, surface area is purpose combine these two models and the purpose model uh, can determine the development of both force uh, within connections with defined surface area uh, accurately as shown by the uh, red curve. So uh, in conclusion, the uh, connection with uh, partially traded boat uh, show a greater maximum load around 10% uh, than the one with the fully traded boat. Uh, however, fully traded connection are more uh, ductile than partially traded uh, connections. Uh, second, reference connections with defined surface area uh, enable to improve the initial stiffness around 80% uh, compared to traditional connections, uh, which show the potential to uh, improve the fatigue resistance of the connection. Uh, so, in conclusion, the uh, more detailed uh, investigation about the me uh, mechanical behavior of the reference connection with defined area. Uh, of interest to be performed by experimental and uh, uh, numerical analysis. So uh, thanks for your attention.